Today is the 20th of June 2021, the third Sunday of the month. And so it also falls on a happy Father's Day. A very happy Father's Day to all fathers, grandfathers and stepfathers. Last month we celebrated Mother's Day and we prayed for our mothers. Today on this Father's Day we are doing the same, offering our dads, living or dead, invoking our Heavenly Father's blessings. Being a Sunday, we now make a short reflection on the readings of the day. In Israel, there is a fresh water lake called the Sea of Galilee, also called Lake Tiberias. But the Hebrews call it Kinneret. The Sea of Galilee is the lowest fresh water lake on earth. Its area is 166 square kilometers. It is approximately 21 kilometers long and 13 kilometers wide. It is 141 feet deep. The source of water comes partly from underground springs, but its main source is the Jordan River. So many events in the Gospels took place in and around this lake. Jesus and his disciples used to travel often across this lake, preaching the good news, healing the sick, and helping the needy, and bringing people to the kingdom of God. Today's Gospel from Mark chapter 4 verses 35 to 41, speaks of a very severe storm that hit the boat in which Jesus and his disciples were sailing. Jesus was deep asleep in the boat because he was tired and exhausted. But suddenly, a violent storm came and tossed their boat. The disciples, knowing very well that they were in danger, shouted out to the Lord, Mind their words here. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care if we perish? Jesus did not cause the storm, of course. He was having a peaceful rest. Peace and rest is what we all want to experience. Because of this, we struggle and work hard to find peace and rest in our lives. But now, it is all ended even for Jesus with the storm. The disciples confessed they were about to sink 141 feet deep down into the sea. Of course, all of them knew swimming, for they were fishermen and men of the sea. They were all well built and strong men, but now, they admitted of their weakness, helplessness, and they surrendered their problem to Jesus. When the disciples turned to the Lord and woke him up, what happened? Jesus got up, he rebuked the wind, and at once the wind died down. But above all, Jesus commanded the wind, Peace, be quiet. Siopa pefimozo. With these words of Jesus, the fury and violence of the storm was calmed again, and the fear of trauma of the disciples returned to peace and rest. The power of Jesus to control the sea and its storm, to control nature itself, demonstrates three facts. First, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, the sovereign Lord of over all nature and life. Second, Christ can come any storm of life for us. And third, Christ can strengthen us to go through 
any trial. The storms and trials of life often come suddenly and violently. And too often Christ seems to be far away from us, asleep or away from us. What we need during the storms of life are the same rest and peace, trust and confidence in God that Jesus had. Every now and then trials and sufferings hit us. This time the world is going through COVID-19 pandemic and many have died, including someone dear to us or known to us. A Vatican News reported that more than 400 bishops, priests and nuns in India have died of COVID-19, most of them in the months of April and May 2021. And as of 29 May this year, 205 priests, including three, bishop, three bishops, and 210 nuns, bringing the total to 415. The number could be higher as the reporters don't receive from all the sources. Most of them risk their lives to serve the church and society in remote areas where medical facilities are rare. Likewise, due to COVID-19 pandemic, many aspects of our lives have been affected and many relationships have broken down, leading to episodes of suicide, abortion, and many sorts of misery and sufferings we can think of. Different kinds of sufferings are part of human life, like Job in today's first reading, Job 38, verse 1 and 8 to 11. We all have our lives ups and downs. It is important to be aware of our own situation. What kind of suffering are we experiencing these days? What are you afraid of at this moment? Do not let fear take over you. Do not get drowned in your own problem. Like the apostles, tossed by a violent storm in the boat, turn to the Lord, wake him up, seek Jesus' help, ask the Lord to help you. Jesus is ready to resolve all your issues, your troubles, worries and cares. Just trust Him and ask Him to turn to your side. Jesus is always with us. He is our Lord. He promised to be always with us. But we must turn to Him and explain our situation and ask what He can do for us. So surrender your problems to Jesus and explain the nature of your help. Don't ever think Jesus doesn't care for you. No, he is always with you and for you. Have faith in Jesus. Turn to him today and tell him your needs. Jesus, our master, is in control over every situation. Jesus, our Lord, is the most powerful God. He will never let the boat sink. He will never lose his people facing trouble, trial and suffering, and in need and want. In times of our trouble and in danger of death, together with the disciples, let us shout to the Lord Jesus, Teacher, do you not care if we perish? And our Lord will come to us and take control of the situation, saying, Peace, be quiet. Praise be the most holy name of Jesus, now and forever.